In this video, we are going to take a look at the order of operations on some problems that involve fractions. When simplifying fractions, it will be important to always simplify the top and bottom first. Then, after those are simplified, then we're allowed to divide those numbers. Let's take a look at some examples where we simplify the top and bottom and then divide our results. In this expression, while it might look quite complex, we'll start by focusing just on the top. Negative 4 squared minus 4 plus 2 times 3. As we know, the order of operations has us do parentheses first and the multiplication before the addition. Now we have negative 4 squared, or the opposite of 4 squared, minus 4 plus 2 times 3 is 6. Continuing to in those parentheses, we simplify the 4 plus 6. So we have the opposite of 4 squared minus 10. After the parentheses have been simplified, we're ready to simplify the exponents. Notice the squared, the exponent is only on the 4, not the negative sign. Keep the negative sign and square the 4, giving us the opposite of 16, minus 10. Finally, we can subtract negative 16 minus 10 is negative 26. And the numerator, or top of that fraction, has been simplified. Now, we look at the bottom. 5 plus 3 times 5 minus 4. Again, order of operations has a start with the parentheses. We now have 5 plus 3 times 1. Next, we multiply 3 times 1, giving us 5 plus 3. Finally, the addition and subtraction finishes the problem, giving us 8. Now that the top and bottom have been simplified, we're ready to divide those results. The top, or numerator, is negative 26. The bottom, or denominator, is 8. We can reduce this fraction by dividing by 2, giving us negative 13 fourths. And that completes this problem. Let's look at one more example that uses fractions, simplifying both the top and the bottom before we divide. In this example, on the top we have 4 plus 5 times 2 minus 9. Order of operations tells us to do the parentheses first. 4 plus 5 is 9, and 2 minus 9 is negative 7. Next, we can multiply. 9 times negative 7 is negative 63. The top has been simplified. We're ready to look at the bottom. The bottom has 2 cubed minus 2 squared plus 3. Again, order of operations starts us in the parentheses. And again, we start with the exponents. Now we have 2 cubed minus 2 squared, which is 4, plus 3. Now we finish the parentheses, adding the 4 plus 3. 2 cubed minus 7. Next, after the parentheses, we are asked to simplify exponents. 2 cubed is 8, minus 7. And finally, 8 minus 7 is 1. We have now simplified the numerator and the denominator. Once the top and bottom have been simplified, we're ready to divide. We have negative 63 over 1. When we divide, that's simply negative 63. And that completes our problem. When we simplify fractions on top and bottom, we can evaluate quickly.